The Slime. As ubiquitous in the early stages of many video games as it is on YouTube's trending page nowadays. Also known as a jelly or ooze, the slime is a modern staple of video games, appearing primarily in RPGs. An amorphous, generally shapeless, gooey creature, often found as an easy enemy or first encounter. But where did the slime first appear, and how did it make its way to video game infamy? Perhaps one of the most famous examples of slime-like creatures is the gelatinous cube from Dungeons & Dragons. The thought child of Gary Gygax, this fictional monster was invented in 1977 and is described as a 10-foot cube of transparent gelatinous ooze which is able to absorb and digest organic matter. But before that, another notable slime that lives on in pop culture -ho, Blabberino. is the depiction of the blob first appearing in the 1958 science fiction horror film by the same title. The Blob was written by Kay Lineker and stars a young Steve McQueen in his first ever starring role. In this film, the Blob, or Slime, is a growing corrosive alien entity that made its way to Earth on a gigantic meteorite and consumes people, becoming larger each time, eventually growing to the size of a building. As far as video games go, it seems one of the first mentions of a slime NPC was in the game Wizardry, released in 1980 for the Apple II computer. Of course the slime has been made iconic within the video game world by the excellent RPG series Dragon Quest. In it you encounter slimes of countless varieties, their shape and color depending on the associated element. This set the tone for a lot of future games some stepping it up a notch. In recent years the slime has made several appearances as NPCs, like in the popular farming sim Stardew Valley, but maybe most notably in the 2017 game Slime Rancher. In this game you make a living wrangling slimes on a faraway planet. Forever embedded in our collective bestiary of notable video game characters. Where will the slime go next? Hey guys and gals, um, I know we haven't made a video in quite some time, but I thought I'd shake things up a bit with something a little different from what we normally do. If you've made it this far in the video and you enjoyed it, you might as well go one step further and drop a like. If I get enough feedback, I might continue this series. 